Oh, what's up, guys? This is the Rifle Man, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play is the Kingdom of Venice. And in this episode, uh, we're doing okay, actually. Um, we are kind of booming at the minute. Um, but Britain has landed a large army off our shores near Sarajevo, and it's a, it's a bit spooky, and it's going to cause some problems down the line. Um, but we are hoping, I'm, I'm hoping, I can manage it. I was hoping I get peace with Spain. What if I offer peace and I give you physiocracy, eh? eh? Ah. See, that's frustrating because they can cause problems um, to, uh, we're near our capital. It's unfortunate, really, that our Italian state alliance went bust. Um, but anyway, let's hit N10. I'm assuming Britain's going to go straight for Sarajevo, so I pulled troops back. Trying to recruit ex troops in Bosnia. Yeah, there, there it is. That's to be expected. So let's see how many men we can kill. 400. Not bad. So we are rushing fire by rank. Which, to be honest, we're not. We shouldn't be far away from. Well, we're rushing fire by rank, and also we are kind of blitzing towards Istanbul. Because the hope, my hope is if I can take Istanbul, I can get a peace deal with the Ottomans that will make them leave me alone. And then we can focus on retaking Sarajevo and consolidating our empire a bit. And then probably continue attacking the Ottoman Empire. Because if we can retake Sarajevo... That's a lot of land that we can potentially cover. It's a, it's a reasonable amount of towns. It's a reasonable amount of um, industrial buildings. We can do some good there. But I'd really be interested in trying to consolidate it a bit. Yeah, we go down to 1,500. 902 soon. My treasury minister's still not good. No building. No nothing. Put, oh god, alive. Break the siege. So much so, I may actually say, you know what, Ottomans? Peace. Not ideal, but I wanted to make... Oh, so we've they've stopped trade... Okay, they've decided not to trade with us, the Austrians. That's super not cool. But yeah, by breaking... By making a peace with the Ottomans, it means we can, in theory, focus on the British. So you men get up to Sarajevo. This general, one infantry unit, go to Sofia. Okay, let's these two industrial buildings that got raided and let's start to pick up some of the more basic upgrades and then make sure Verona is on with fire by rank five turns that is rapid five turns and then suddenly a bunch of our infantry just pumps out so much firepower it'll overwhelm them completely perfect yeah, I want to retake Sarajevo. I couldn't take this... Because I couldn't take this instantly. Um, peace is better. Take it, take this out. Knock Britain out. And then regroup and focus, refocus on the Ottomans after we've consolidated our hold a little bit. I think that's the smart decision. Because with peace with the Ottomans, we can actually afford to take a take a bit of time. We can regroup. We can invest in some of our economic infrastructure. Consolidate our territory. Then we'll jump on Istanbul and then maybe look at attacking Cairo. If our economy looks strong enough. Uh-oh. There, that's really bad. Poland is... 
has blitzed Austria and has taken. That's the reason why we couldn't trade, because it got captured by Poland. Uh, go on, like Gally, see what you can do. Uh, yeah, Poland took took out Aust the Austrian capital. Hey, why did you did you not even give us a chance to fight? We got we had troops and we could have intercepted. Why did it not? So we're going to be on the verge of bankruptcy now. Or we are going to be bankrupt. Effectively bankrupt. Go, go, gadget, auto resolve. Yeah, clear off. Uh, yes. You are our new ally. Um, Poland. Okay. Okay. Okay, this isn't terrible. This isn't terrible. It's a future enemy, for sure. Eight gold. But at least now we've broke the siege. Okay, Crimea. Why do you hate us? Peace. Peace, and I'll give you common land enclosures, eh? Why do you hate us so much? I think it's because we, well, we were, uh, it's because we were at war with the Ottomans. They don't like that one bit. Okay, treasure. Oh, good. Our treasury ministers learned how to do stuff. Trade agreement cancelled with France. It's probably got something to do with Spain causing a ruckus. Okay, let's hit end turn again. Royal Navy's probably going to go try pick up their army again. Yeah, we can't stop them because Premier blockades our port and we have to try and do something. So they're ugh, they may sail to go and take um, take out Greece. Unless we march on Sarajevo and force them to come in. They're going to blockade our port. No, but not a port. No, they're going after Poland. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we're going to have to march on Sarajevo. And force them to... Actually, no, no, we can't. I was going to say, actually, we can jump them. No, we can't. Here comes Crimea. Oh, that Crimea is just going to ruin this campaign entirely. Because there's just... I, there's nothing I could do. There's nothing I could do. Unless I give them something. It might go away if I give them something. Oh no, we're not... A, we're not... We're not being... You're not get, you're not uh, getting getting us. What we can do is take you guys and blockade or siege the capital, and then say, right, what are you going to do about that? And you are going to stay close. Yeah, see, Mr. Churchill. Now, how'd you feel, eh? Okay. Peace, off attack. See, see, you don't like us because we're, because we were. You see, we've got historical friendship and our national leaders command respect, but still, you don't want us. But I mean, we're trading with a few powers now. But if I can say, hey, Spain, why don't we just stop? Why don't we just stop fighting Spain? And you? No, no, not Britain, not Britain. Three turns to fire by rank. Yes, that's exactly what we wanted to see. They came crawling back. Oh, I hope Russia takes out 
No Russia takes out um, Crimea. But I was hoping, I mean, I know Austria is not the strongest ally in the region. I mean, being, being honest here, I didn't expect them to do a huge amount. But I was kind of hoping that they would hold out a little better than that. At least not lose Vienna. Now is that uh, Bavaria coming down to get me? Looks like it might be. Yes! Rebels! Siamo pronti. That's mass. And assume they will want to attack us to break the siege. You're going to come running back, going, Oh no, we've got to help! Okay, our, our, our navy that's up to full strength now. Quitting air quotes. Yes, bring the fifth rate into our service. Yes, they're all gone! Get back in. Prepare whatever you can with a hundred, hundred quid. Right. Still down only to 1500. We can now trade with the Austrians again. They're going to want it. Because they can try and... They can try and defend themselves. 2200. That's good. That's manageable. That's good. That's good. We can handle. We can handle that. We can deal. You guys can try and defend yourselves. You try and retake Hungary. Or re retake. Sarajevo. Two more turns. Bye bye rank. Yeah, that's right, I know you come crawling back. You and your rubbish armies. We'll show you what's what. So we may have a bunch of troops coming in on our left. But that's okay. We've got a bucket load of muskets. I mean, once we get fire by rank, suddenly it starts to be all bets off. We'll start to uh, expand like madmen. Not without hope, we suffer and we mourn. Ah, the rain. The game decided, hey, you're having a bit too much fun. Let's deal with that. So in theory, there's a bunch of guys over here. And that doesn't happen. Form a giant militia line. And let's keep a bunch of guys in reserve. Okay, they're coming in on the left but not, like, crazy left. But provincial cavalry on the far right. Keep engaging their artillery, but speed up time, because we have no... Oh, the yeomanry are charging in. Interesting. Yeah, you might charge in, but I got these guys with pulling sticks. Pointy stick fellows, get in there. Another unit like that coming in to deal with. And yeah, they're wavering. Get in there, pointy stick fellows. Everyone else, form up. Town, pikemen. And 
proper fashion as the rain kicks in we lose the ability to actually have the cool noises yeah but you men just get ready and engage actually my artillery attack the line infantry When the pikemen and the infantry have committed, we'll start to spread them out a bit more. We'll start to um, go around the flanks a bit. Oh, that's, they're sending in the general. Bold move. You guys along with so try to see if we can kill the general, which we did. That's brilliant. Artillery smash one of their infantry units. I can't actually see what you guys are shooting at, which is unfortunate. I can't see there. Okay, there we go. Now I can see it. There we go. Your general is a coward. Push our line up. So we can start to hit the flank of some of their infantry units, that's always good. Let's just maybe focus our artillery on the on the pikemen. We start picking off their infantry on the right. We can start rolling them up. The hope, the hope is that these guys they'll make these units break and run. My cavalry around the flank. Okay, you guys open fire. Artillery unit, that would be perfect. So now you're okay because you'll fire onto the second regiment. Second, oh, that's the 33rd regiment to foot. Oh, the proper units. Richard, Richard Sharp was in. Let's hope he's in it no longer. Or is he going to be dead soon? Focus fire onto the that other unit there. You guys form up. Cavalry run through the gap. Actually, that might not be John Churchill, that might be the other fella. Artillery keeps smacking the pikemen. goes the, th the 33rd Regiment of Foot. Four map. Is the Pikemen are coming in now. You men engage the Yeomanry. Artillery pound the Pike block. The point what you're doing. Ammunition state looking okay. Not terrible, but could be better. 
pavement are broken. Bomb scraps reform. This damn mouse. There we go. Kill that. Make sure the yeomanry or try and shatter the yeomanry if you can, because you've got them surrounded. There we go. Go after the guns. Pikemen are still pushing up. Well, actually, they're pushing up across our lines. There's demi cannons coming in, so you men can push. This regiment of horse. Go after the artillery. Excellent. Pikemen. Get in against the militia because they've made a successful charge. Excellent, plenty of fire. Pikemen in the rear of the enemy's positions. Let's make sure we don't get caught out by them. Ready and fire at the 33rd foot. Regiment of pikemen have pushed in. Okay, these two units commit against the line infantry. Bring these two units in that haven't been firing, get them into the line. No, don't hit the square. You have to hit the militia, you have to hit the square. Cool, that's the artillery knocked out. And once we now we now we can look towards cracking the square open. Pull the pipe in the back. Artillery, smack the line in the centre. Conscripts engage the militia. Excellent. These may be brave infantry. They've been surrounded by plentiful conscripts. Oh, no, you don't. Keep running. Actually, run towards the centre. There's the general's bodyguard. You might just get clipped by the cab by the pikemen, but if I keep you selected, we can kill him. So then, you men keep killing the line. Engage the cavalry. See if we can kill John Churchill before the pikemen show up. Come on, get him, he's in there somewhere. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, got him. Chase down the second regiment of foot. Kill them. Kill them all. Hey, you two units, fix bayonets, charge the pikes. General, get involved. Cease fire the artillery. Marines, focus on the Marines. Damn right, we're going to continue. A 
bit of a bummer that you're all the way back out here because that's going to cause problems when it comes to killing the enemy. Militia, militia. Oh, they're all militia. Go for the dozen line infantry first. There you go, he's dealt with. Excellent. Just keep mopping them up. Go after those pikemen first. Yeah, that probably means that they're going to get away as well. Well, they are going to get away, that's fine. Either way, that is quite a significant slaughter against the British troops. And I don't think they were ready for it. And the other unit, yeah, everybody... Everybody engage the 4th Regiment. These are just, yeah, these are just regular old militia. Oh dear, oh dear. Aha, there's always one. Thought he was going to make it as well. But he got chased through the snow like a dog. Nice, nice, nice. What's that is? Ah, oh, you're so screwed, Britain. Big mistake, Buster. Okay, so we need to start building a force in Venice to move west against Madrid. Oh uh, yeah, Ottomans, they've not forgotten. They have not forgotten. So one force is going to take Sarajevo and deal with the British pocket, and the other, with the other half of the force is going to head down towards Greece. Because yeah, the, the Ottomans are not going to just let us off the hook, sadly. Nope. Go away, Barbary States. None today. Don't want any of you. Pronti. Well, they all gonna just, just take the city. Diplomacy. Peace and clear off. No, you didn't. You don't want any of that, do you? Just, just take him out. Okay, new man. Your area of effect is greater than than the movement of the ship. So you guys come here. Ordini. Impossible, signor. You say impossible. I don't think it is. Okay, yeah, you can st uh, yeah, you stay in here for now. Then you guys can hold Athens. Pikemen secure the city. Neither the government or anyone's happy. But they soon will be. I don't know why they demolished the church school. That was that was a good idea. Oh, then they're, they're Protestants, aren't they? That's why they didn't like it. They were prods. 3,300 next turn is what we're back up to. No extra trade. Fly by rank in one turn. 
But yeah, we want to keep Austria alive. Austria is our bulwark against Prussia and Poland and all that mess. So if we get fire by rank, Austria might get it to help keep them alive against everybody. Because if they break through Austria and get it to us, we're done for. We are effectively a weak version of the Ottoman Empire right now. An even weaker version of the Ottoman Empire. Because the Ottoman Empire is not a great starting faction. Well, it's a great starting faction for the human player, but for the AI player, you they've got a lot of weaknesses and have to rely on overwhelming mass to actually deal with things. Whereas us, we can be a bit more finessed, in theory. Three thousand five by rank, excellent. Crew sloop, bring the infantry back, to Sarajevo. Although apparently I can't actually. Hmm. Very curious. Replenish the government building. Let's keep building our church school. Everybody keep Did replenishing. Interesting. I can't give any time. anyone that I've given orders to before. I can no longer give orders. Interesting. Can't build roads, but I can build a couple of farms. So you got fly by rank, that is excellent. Get on with Division of Labour. Let's get those boosts to town wealth. We just need to keep just keep growing right now. Um interesting I can't actually do Diplomacy's not working either. Oh, Allied declares war. Austria against Frag. I'm going to decline to join you on this war of choice. Why have you declared war on France? Why? Oh my god. Venice. Not Venice. Austria. Right now, we've got a good trade relationship, Austria and I. It's a constant flow of money. But we can keep going. and keep building in the face of any problems they have and any problems we have. We can keep on investing in our economies. However, I am just mighty concerned because I'm a war with Prussia and I thought, Prussia's not a problem. Who's going to care about Prussia? Suddenly when Poland and Prussia start breaking through, uh, it's a bit dicey. I think I've got a board with Prussia now. In the Hungary, Hung, Hungary Serbia region. Oops, sneeze. There it goes. Right, 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 right. And a rake in Serbia. Perfect. Let's see what the hell is going on up here. Oh, it's annoying that they're so happy. Okay, I can bring Pikeman back to Sarajevo. Replenish this army. Replenish this army. Upgrade my roads. Upgrade. I should think the roads attack. Well, they might be the better. They are a good idea. Going from iron mine to steam pumped iron mine might be good. We're upgrading roads in. Although Sarajevo is. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Yeah, 
Industry is a good shout, I think. As well as just upgrading some farmland. You guys replenish what you can with what's left. Yeah, you can make it, that's good. Okay. So in theory, we could take Hungary. Not that I want it, really, but... I mean, I could take it and give it to Austria. But yeah, I don't want you guys to leave yet. Got to build that there church school. Although I suppose you might be better off trying to get improved animal husbandry. Because we've got a good amount of farms, so 8%. Plus 8% wealth generated by farms is good. We've got a good number of them. We've got a good number of them and we don't really have the capital to take advantage of the of growing our well boosting our ports just yet. I mean, I definitely do want to re-engage Austria, but right now, in a moment... Not Austria, not the Ottomans, but right now, with a, a bit of a brief window of peace, it feels like a good opportunity to try and invest in our economy. It's tempting to push on to Istanbul. It's really tempting. Oh, they're going to get picked up to go somewhere. Oh no, they're just collecting their ships. So at least Poland's had their... Um, wings clipped, and I have to wonder if Poland is at war with Prussia. That may be good for us because it gives them, it gives Prussia more frontiers to guard against. Denmark is still alive, which is positive news. Barbary States are going to get their ships <laughs> ships sank for another turn. Oh no, they've done okay. Okay, all my ministers are generally positive. My president's really good. Big boost to diplomatic relations. Looks like they might actually have financial problems. Because the army in Milan is is not in not in good shape. But we've got three thousand. We're gonna get some boosts to our the wealth we get from farms. So let's upgrade some farms. Nice. So you've got a church school. You guys are generally okay with what's happening. It is it is very tempting to continue to push against the Ottomans. And in fact, that's probably what I'm going to do. So I'm going to have you guys combine with a few of the line infantry units from here. So once they push into this territory, I'll drop them off um, by sea. Bring this fifth rate back to my port, or my home port. Okay, okay. 2,600. Trading still looks good. No extra trade partners yet. I really hope you march on 
onto Istanbul as well, because then I'll jump in at the last minute, attack it, and then I'll get it. It looks like they've traded they've traded territory with the Dutch. Or they've given it to the Dutch. Was that, or was that a 13 colonies actually in Transylvania? They're massing their navy again. Hopefully they go west of the Atlantic. Tell. It might be a 13 colonies that colour, I just can't really see it. Improved animal husbandry. It was the 13 colonies, interesting. So in terms of research, don't bother with any more of that. Get on with... Spinning Jenny's not bad. I mean, I might go back on to Division of Labour. Lots of good boosts and a bigger port means we may be able to get more trade deals. New town emerges in Bulgaria. Let's get a craft workshop. Let's upgrade the mine. Can't upgrade the government building anymore. So, oh, that's actually quite a spicy army. Expat line infantry. Oh, that gets recruited from. Actually, where does that get recruited from? It looks like it's from Capital. And it runs all the way there. Eh, why not? Well, is there anything I can actually spend the money on to earn us more money? Upgrade the church school, that doesn't help convert people any faster, it just makes them a bit happier. Yeah, let's recruit another line infantry. It'll take a while to get there, but that's okay. Okay, 2,900. That's right, bring those agents into my territory, please. Maybe Hungary, Prussia might be actually friendly with Austria. And there goes their navy. So infantry of five by rank, I'll be able to push the Ottomans back quite nicely, but it's always mm, artillery. Artillery's good, but Istanbul has lots of provinces, and they, that could get me another um, another. It has lots of towns, and that gets me that could get me an extra university for more research. So much we've got so much stuff we can build. So if we go after them, a lot of cavalry, but lots of their infantry is a bit mishmash. Got a pike unit there. They'll be supplemented by a lot of pike units. I, mean, I think we kind of have to do it. I'm gonna take all of you except one infantry uh, unit. Ordine. Transfer you across. Signore. You are going to march south, declare war. Don't call my allies, because they're already at war with Austria anyway. 
Pronti e in attesa di ordine. So yeah, you can sail around, raid the port, push the infantry up to support them. Stay in there to stop them from causing any trouble. You mean you've accrued your infantry and they're going to take a while to catch up. That's okay. Your job is to sit here and say, all right then, do you want to come at me? And then I'll knock them back, rinse and repeat. So I could do with just flat upgrading some of my government buildings to boost tax rates. And that looks like everything. Oh yeah, guys can't actually form square. Let's maybe do that first. Because <laughs> when we didn't have a lot of line infantry, that wasn't a problem. Now we have... Although, to be fair, we've got a bunch of pikemen, so square's not actually as big of a deal. Let's go for... Let's keep going. Keep going with Division of Labour. 2,500 in income. A huge amount I can do about it. That's going to be another stack that Britain's going to send at us. Oh, God's sake, go away, Britain. So I need to expand my territory, grow my economy to the point where I can actually hold. I can have more than one army on the, on the map. Okay, fall back. We're not going to be outflanked. Or if I bring them to battle now, no, no, no. it's not. Be, don't want to be outflanked. If they go for Sophia, they go for Sophia. That's fine. If they go for Sophia, they do. Well, ultimately, if they go for Sophia, they leave they leave Istanbul open. So potentially a bit of a risk for them there. And next term, I'll just in, I'll, I will engage their full stack and force them back towards Istanbul the way I, I want them to go back. Okay. Good calling, Navy. Right. Okay. 2,800. Some raiding. That's fine. Let's build another fifth rate. Okay, so yeah, if wonder if, if I hit you, do they re they re reinforce you? No, they don't. But I'm going to want to dismantle these guys blood as bloodlessly as I can. We got one and a half thousand to replenish, which we which we will need. This may be a few turns of um, battling against the Ottomans to push them back to Istanbul. See if we can get them to accept surrender. Then we may push on towards Ankara and force them to take a surrender again. So I'm going to push advance with my conscript forward first. I don't want to risk my line infantry. There's Azars in here somewhere. But I'm not 
bothered about them. Actually, gunners engage the riskers of souls. We formed up just to shoot at the artillery. But to be fair, it is smarter to send one unit up to engage it in melee combat so before it runs away. Souls we all know and love. Gary Mothers. But they, they get scared themselves. There's the Azars, we got him. Send, send one unit to melee charge, they're going to need more than one. Go get them. Yeah, my conscripts are actually getting a bit mauled. Till we bring out the reinforcements. My men may only be conscripts. But my god, they want to fight. No, the Israeli did come back. Well, oh, they ran again. But there they go. Well, there they are. Broken, but not in the super decisive way I wanted. But you know what? I'll take the law says I can I get I get there you go, I group them up for a second and that's gonna cause them to get away with with fewer losses than they otherwise would have taken blast back you go then you move up to here. Da sinistra. And attack. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for hopefully the destruction um, of a large Ottoman force. See you, everyone. <laughs>